We have a few things pushing the price of gold around this week. And if you want to make a guess where you think it'll be by Friday, we'll drop it in the comments. I'm sure it'll be good fun. And hopefully at least one of us will be right. If you've been watching the price of gold closely over the past few weeks, you already know the gold dropped below the $2,000 mark. That's not news. It also fell below the 1950 mark. It's a little bit further. And this at a time when a supposed uncertainty was being hyped in the news cycle. Normally, the risk of an actual debt ceiling default would be a large enough concern to push the price of gold up. So traders either aren't worried that there's an actual risk or there are other factors bringing the price of gold down with more force than we realize. Now, what we do know is that the strength of the US dollar hasn't really been hurt by any of this. The dollar is at a two month high, and we know that that pushes the price of gold down. But what happens this week if or when the debt cap is officially once again raised? Now, personally, my expectation is that the price of gold will drop. I mentioned an expected pullback to 1950 or even 1900 without the debt cap negotiations being factored in. Now that analysis on that price correction, that was simply seen as a necessary correction before the price could head back up above all time highs. So one analyst group called for a correction to 1900 before heading to 2200 within a year. Now that's the analysis that I found the most interesting and probably the most likely also. And a lot of the price movement that's happened over the last week has lined up with that prediction. We've seen gold go lower than 1950. But we have a new news cycle now, and it's focused on the debt cap issues, and that could change things. Now, it might be lasting change, it might be knee-jerk change, but we could see a debt deal happen Wednesday night. And if we do, it's going to affect the price of gold. Now, sometimes a price movement just doesn't make sense, but I'll tell you what I'm expecting, or at least what I expect to do if we see one of these possible outcomes. Now, 1850 gold, that is possible. It's not simply the debt ceiling debate in effect here. We've seen more hawkish comments implying that we might get another rate hike. So that's further downward pressure on gold. To be clear though, I'm not seeing anyone calling for 1850 gold. There's no reason to say that it's going there, but it is a possibility with everything going on right now. And it's the number that... I'm planning around. So gold is around 1957 as I'm recording this, and that's a good buying level compared to where we were a week ago, but I'm still waiting. And we've seen gold get as low as 1940 recently, but Thursday will most likely have the next debt cap increase, and that's a trigger for me to buy again. Assuming no other news, that should be gold's bad hair day. Now, if the House or Senate want to let it all burn, the price of gold would most likely take off like a rocket. Honestly, I'm fine with either case. I'm not going to buy if it shoots up, but I think that it's very likely that we'll see that deal. A case where we most likely see the price of gold fall further, and I think that it's pretty likely that I'll be buying later this week. Uh, don't take that as advice for when you should be buying. It all depends on whether or not you're going to be buying anyway. If you're buying one way or another and you're buying in the next week or two, well, buying today at 1950 or waiting to the end of the week on the hope of a drop... Well, that's a gamble. In my case, it's not really a bet. It's more a matter of patience because I don't need to buy in the next few weeks. I'll either buy or I won't. I think the prices will drop, but if they don't, I'll wait for the next one. The hawkish comments coming from the Fed employees and some of the positive economic data, it's going to be the biggest downward pressure right now. So there's more going on than this debt cap deal. And they're pushing the price of gold in opposite directions. So that root cause, there's actually two of them. Maybe there's three of them. But another rate increase would mean higher yields again on treasury products. And that's where the downward pressure for gold comes. And this is another case where it's just a rumor and rumors are moving markets. If that rumor is already priced in, which it has to be to a certain degree, the result there is that we see the price of gold turn back around either when it turns out to not be true and we don't get a rate hike or... It just gets pushed down the road a month and we see gold take off again when we hear that the rate hikes are paused once again. Either way, that news about the rate hikes, that is the opposite of what I was talking about with the debt ceiling situation. Debt ceiling conclusion means gold price drops and we get a nice buying opportunity. Rate hike conclusion means price of gold goes up. Hopefully we had a chance to get some at a discount before that happens. That's what's in my head anyway. As far as pullbacks and bull runs go, a drop to 1850 followed by a run to above the all-time high, 2075, 
possibly to 2200 even within a year, as the analyst was saying. That's really not a wild swing by any means, really. At the end of the day, buying consistently and then just sticking around for the long haul, that's the strategy with physical gold. You don't buy it to make $100 here or there. You buy it to build a liquid asset, builds up wealth over time. But I'll take a $100 discount if I can get it. So let's call it good there. Try not to get ahead of ourselves too far with specific price predictions, but I'll take them if you have them. So let us know if you have plans for the week, price ideas, buying schemes, whether or not you're looking at the end of the week for a big move or not. Maybe even whether or not you wait for pullbacks to purchase at all. Let us know. And then while you're in the comments, be sure to hit the like button. If you found any of this interesting, be sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on if you'd like to see more on the topic. And if you're still here, thanks again for watching. I always appreciate your time. Take care.